But, oh, no, this is the important thing. Their first game. This is this is already bringing up issues. Uh, they're playing the Hawks. It couldn't have gone any better. He has not seen Coach Riley since he quit playing hockey 20 years ago. It was just so, like, in your face. Yeah. Trauma, trauma, trauma. Oh, I, I could just feel the tension. Like, Gordon's like, oh, fuck this guy again. It's like then, in Goodfellas Co- with Billy Bats. Like, fuck this and guy. Yeah. Coach Riley's going to be still toxic as fuck. Yeah. So he comes over to intimidate him. So we make sure he's going to secure the win. Like, yeah. Because he's then, threatened by Gordon. Well, he brings ah. up something that happened 20 years ago when, when he was a child. It's like uh, he like they see the banners on the wall. And then you see that one with the uh, yellow. Yellow. It's like, I wish they could take that one down. And it's like, let it fucking go. <laughs> This, you, you're not an NHL coach. I'm, I'm telling this guy's it's crazy. An asshole. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. That's something. There's something not well with Coach Riley. Uh, I think he had a dream of being a hockey player. That's what I'm suspecting. It failed, so he lives the fantasy out through the kids. He had a dream of coaching a professional. Yeah, he thought he'd coach the Minnesota North Stars, uh, and that didn't happen. And now he's coaching the Hawks, and he's uh, yeah, mentally abusing children <laughs> for his. Usually, how it goes? It's either that or you become a yeah. cop. Cop, there you go. You a hockey coach or a cop? And uh, he had a cop vibe. Did you get that? Oh, he flicks yeah. the coach Riley always flicks the the collar up on the jacket. Uh-huh. The, uh huh. The like the snow jacket or whatever he wore. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. It was yeah. like a it was like a skiing jacket. Skiing jacket made yeah. for the ice rink. Yeah, I mean this this team is obviously well funded. I don't know. They're probably funded by drug addicts. Yeah. Uh, 